let everybody get their groups together. Get this down to my 60 second timer here. Slight blue for advantage. We're gonna see them Check. all form up yeah. here. 60 seconds of the clock. Get your team together. Where and I mean, we have a here? near full roster, which before. is crazy. Squad level. Okay. But Could Stratico here as Patriot as a marksman, one of the guys that usually takes marksman. He's got Delta a full mat team. Up into Delta one just for OCD reasons. And looks like they're right. evenly filling. Um, uh, look it over. Except for one Delta team, so they're going to be one MG team short. That's interesting to see. Okay. Uh, he is okay with this I though. Don't know if I'm saying that name right or not. If I am not, I apologize. Six seconds. Get your team together. So Severe is going to lead off right. for. He's got Acid Pantalones as his marksman. Charlie I haven't seen that name before. People, Mito right? is being yes, platoon medic. Uh, I have a Charlie highlight two, of him. You push to Delta 3, grab uh, that MMG section or Delta 2. And it looks like he is going to try to push people there. down to Since take these MGs. Might as well make use of you in a machine gun team. Uh, the other two, if you want to grab a machine gun or an ammo man from the other team too, so you can have two machine guns in one element, that's fine by me. So Jane... And he wants to evenly fill to take uh, those uh, powerful machine guns. Again, really good free. to take. Uh, Op4 usually get PKPs, which are, you know, really identical to the PKMs in the group. Right, but, you know, anything that gives them uh, a bigger rate of fire would be great. Plus, the PKP ammo yeah. is uh, compatible no, with PKM. So, at least fielding more ammo in the field guns, so would be good. That. Let me do one quick scroll through. And, and then good. Op4 also gets uh, the BRDM. Looks like they're only going to two-man crew at T5 Bay take another vehicle. He was in round right. three of EU in a BTR that got blown up by uh, Lucius's or Lafast. I already forget yeah, his name. Uh, that God uh, run two has two people by around. that one Maz. Maybe, Maybe put uh, Night Owl in the Logan, semantic. I don't yeah. think, is on for this round. Uh, I think he only played that. EU today. I don't see him on um, NA, down as which one is unfortunate. Man. Done. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> All right. You're good. But we're not going to yep. see any Logan trick plays, but yeah. a new Logan might arise. But the kill streak to beat is 21 kills. Will anyone dethrone Audrey Hotto's record in Friday Night Fights? All We're right. going to see three rounds with a lot screen. of players. It is entirely possible it might happen because now it's only a little under half of a side's force. So anything's possible. We did see uh, in round three, half of Op4 get killed Ooh, right off the bat. Mm. And this is also really nice to see with 106 people, the receiving mission Easy. file getting booted really quickly. Yeah, and it's try. a data leech operate, people, operation. Operate. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like it's going to be standard the, uh, US versus Russian. Version of the 9900K, so it's a good CPU. And oh, holy crap. Crickets. It's a terminal hack. Uh, it looks like there isn't going to be any specific Surprise order, me. though. It was a uh, upgrade. New feed, too. But Op4 is this can get very ball? close to Blue4. Is this a service yeah, or is it sitting in someone's house? This could be a counter cam. It's a uh, bare metal. All right. All right, Captain Graf so from 15th MEU, that is correct. 15th MEU has a big presence in here today. Okay, so... This is a Blue 4 attack, Op 4 defend. Op 4 has one BRDM and one UAZ. Uh, Blue 4 has the SCAR equivalents. The uh, MAT role is carrying, I believe for Blue 4 is a Carl Gustav for our our uh, op for it's uh, RPG 32. Uh, Blue Four needs to infiltrate Russian lines and take two terminals. Op Four needs to defend both of these terminals. Win condition is Op Four is dead or the terminals are taken. Blue Four wins. If all of Blue Four is dead or the time runs out, then Op Four wins. Op Four does not know where Blue Four spawns. Uh, just to add to the allure, because Blue 4 is representing a large special forces element. <clears throat> so, any questions from our platoon leaders? That's a negative. Did I, I got understand? a question? Sin. Does the, uh, both terminals have to be defended, or at the end of the <laughs> win with just one? Both terminals need to be defended. So if Op4 loses one terminal, it's over. Pretty much in the course of the battle, you don't want to lose a terminal. 
I think they're asking when the mission ends based on how many terminals are captured. Yeah. If both terminals both are captured, terminals it's the mission, or is it just one? So it's... Does it need to be sequential? Nope, it's not sequential. Okay. A little confusing brief, okay. but I think I figured it out. Question, how long is the hack time? One Nine. minute, 20 seconds. Future reference, if you check your task, it tells you what the... Larry, no. It says 90 seconds. Any other questions? So it's 90 Send seconds? Go team six now. Yeah, 90 seconds. All right, I'm going to jump down the casting couch. Uh, we're going to switch the music up. Larry was playing six. Super Ooh, Gift Sub fuck? and brought me to... What, Barb? Larry. Don't at Larry. Send Larry makes me cry. Six. Let's, he, he, I'm, came, he came in and gave me 10 as well. Like, nice. Fuck? Can't believe, like... He actually rewards my shittiness. Like, I get <laughs> your shittiness, but me? Six now. So, uh, before we get going, um, I would like to point something out. Send in On Op 4, I don't know if you noticed, but now. our Scandi Recon boys are in Charlie, and they also have uh, Night Owl and Wiki. Send so, in Op 4 six. Charlie is going to be the one now. to look out on that, look for on that team. Mm hmm. Sorry, I'm just uh, taking some deep six. breaths here. Uh, okay, I just, Larry, talking? yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Um, Larry, again, thank you so much. Jesus Christ. Um, I so hope yeah, you keep enjoying uh, everything. If you got a sub from Larry, make sure you thank him. Also, uh, Clown's here. The mission maker. <laughs> he can't um, lurk if uh, he gets he sub. Like, uh, both terminals need to be defended, six. but if... But I hope you all keep enjoying the ops, one, and I hope you get a kick out of this one. I, I don't know, because, like, if they, if they lose... If, they, yeah, if Red 4 loses six. after they lose a single yeah. terminal, then that just means Blue, Blue 4 can mass charge one terminal and then win the Send game go which okay, six. 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 a little yikers but um so i think um i think that was misspoke because they were talking about both terminals so i think both terminals need to be hacked for Send uh blue four to win six. i think that was just a miss by uh misspoken term on uh the mission devs end uh Otherwise, op four we have with reloadable now. RPGs. Something I uh, discovered today during the EU branch was uh, the mat teams when they have the Send RPG forty two or the Maz. Uh, the guy with the AT gets um, two rockets, and then his assistant gets three additional. Send in go uh, we had a really six. awesome uh, third round for EU where all five rockets were used to kill a chopper. Uh, three BTRs and a Ooh, stolen yeah, Humvee M2. It was beautiful. I saw the I saw the helicopter uh, takedown. That was mm -hmm. amazing. That was um, 18 people cool. snuffed out in two minutes. It was Send just a slaughter. Six. Now. But I know um, at least for these next three operations, uh, TSB's freshly made group is merging with Scandi Recon because they're both the same thing, six. just rebranded. Uh, so you said they were in Charlie for Blue Fort? Or Op 4? Oh, I see them in Op 4. Four. Yep. Op Send in goat team six. Are they lined up at all? Uh, no, I seen with Zeno. Uh, Zeno Inc. By the way, he's the guy that uh, way back when in 2016, in uh, he six. was a liaison yeah. with me in my first loot and ops, and we would drive around in a uh, six-man off-road loaded with uh, Titan AT, and we would just dunk all of Luton's Vix and then drive off. And we did that for three weeks before uh, people started letting me into squats and stuff. <laughs> so I got I got a special uh, special relationship with Zeno, but I mean, we, let's see. We've got uh, four Urals. We have two open top UAZs. We got the Dishka UAZ and the uh, BRDM NATO at least for blue four I didn't see any vehicles and I still don't see any so I mean the mission dev another confusing thing he said was uh, op four isn't gonna know where blue four inserts from but at the same time since this is timed blue four doesn't really have that much choice to do maneuvering on because it's gonna take them too long if they don't have any transports. I think Blue Force should have been given some transports here so they could at least pick the angle that they could attack from because it's kind of obvious where they're gonna come from. What I'm willing to see, or what I wanna see, excuse me, is if Op4 is going to go right on the map border 
and try to do some sort of rush attack to counter Blue 4, because that's what we saw in uh, round three of EU, and it worked really, really well. I mean, they killed half of Op 4 with it, even though it wasn't their intended target. Their intended target was the BTRs, but anything could be possible here. I think um, in terms of mission design, what would have been better is Blue 4 zone should have been completely around Op 4 zone to at least keep them guessing, and then Blue 4 should have been given some vehicles, because this is kind of predictable for Op 4 to see where things are going to go, and uh, people that were playing EU know that the uh, missions were saying if you got transport VIX, and Blue 4 specifically didn't say anything for additional assets, so Op4 might be able to put two and two together. Uh, Op4's commander is severe, and he was playing on EU's uh, missions, so I think he's going to go into this with a lot more intel to counter Blue 4 than Blue 4 would like, and it already feels a little one-sided in that regard, but it's, again, just going to come down to the PvP. We might see the next Adri Hado. Now that we're over 100 players, it's 50v50 right now. Little over that. Yeah, more than that. I think it was, uh, the final count I had was like 53 blue four to 50 up four. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a very messy battle, but this is going to be the new norm. So I'm very excited to see it. Absolutely. Um, uh, I don't know, with uh, Blue 4, yeah, like you said, being on foot, and also the multicam camo that they're wearing, uh, would have preferred to see them with the Woodland Marpat, because that's a bit more temperate, this, uh, and multicam's a bit more, um, what, semi-arid, I, mm -hmm. I guess? So, uh, that's gonna also work against them, on top of yes, being no, oh to, God, or not being able to move no. uh, quickly, being able to mobilize oh. Change up things quickly. They had, they have to run. Wasper, get in here and play some runs. ops, damn it. Uh, Thank terminal you. One's closer to Thank both. you. Terminal two's further away from both. Appreciate um, it. Really do. But, You're not uh, making me cry like you did in the EU. No one's, no one's making me cry. Yeah, it, it's gonna be yeah. tough for Blue Four on this one. The their number, no, numerical advantage isn't gonna. Inflate my viewer count and, for a bit. Um, Thank you. What's that? I appreciate it. The BRDM <laughs> and the UAZ Dishcom, yeah. as well as the transport trucks that Red Four has. Um, they're going to be able to react uh, very, very quickly to whatever Blue 4 does. You just help and, uh, out. Thank you, Osver. If you got uh, some from Osver, make I, sure you I, thank him. Hope you all I stay safe on COVID, like, and I hope you enjoy today's operation. Uh, Fred 4 didn't split their force 50 50. You know, 25 to Terminal 1, 20 to term, or 25 to Terminal 2. Um, but I wonder what Blue 4 would do. Uh, because they could do, you know, everyone go to this terminal, then everyone go to this terminal. Um, which, as far as numerically, I think would be the best idea as Send far as, like, throw as many bodies of the problem as possible. Now. But if they did, you know, two-thirds to one and a third waiting for the other terminal. Send see if, uh, What's that? Stone came back, he's just being mysterious. Strike, or it, kind of I don't know. It's, uh, it's weird. <laughs> but, ah... Uh, I don't know. Send in GOAT Team Lots 6. Lots of possibilities. Now. If I was in Blue Force shoes, I'm going to assume this AO is a 50 minute AO. Uh, so, 50 minutes to maneuver the guys. Could be a little more, could be a little less. Uh, I would probably just do an even 25 force split because just the distance they're going to have to travel isn't going to leave a lot of room for uh, one AO to maneuver to the other unless they try to steal Op 4 transport VIX, which could very well be done. Uh, that's one of the small things Op4 might not think about, awesome. though, in stashing. So we'll have to see how that goes. But another curious question is going to be where Op4 puts their vehicles and where they dig fortifications to make perimeters here. Uh, I will say, at least for Terminal 1, uh, there's definitely a few good spots they can put VIX to Overwatch, at least the north and the uh, south-southeast vectors. But... What's nice about this map is there's a lot of places for Blue 4 to maneuver their guys to. It just depends on how long they want to spend moving their units and uh, how much they want to get into the position. So a lot of room for uh, mixed infantry tactics here. Guys to scout things out, main forces to come in. Uh, and again, it's, it's just going to fall to the PvP. Uh, I don't really see any one way to do this like I do see in some missions where there's only like one or two forested routes and the rest are just giant open field to death. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting opening round and 
I, I, I'm excited. Like this, this will be a cool one. Yeah. Um, now that you mentioned, I didn't notice the, uh, at first about Terminal One the fact that it's surrounded on one DJ text Tom thanks for the tier one and sub and Wasber side, thank you for the three uh, sub uh, resub I hope you keep so enjoying the operations hope you get a kick out of Friday night three. fights hope you're staying safe from when COVID-19 uh, if they just follow the road, hope you get a kick out of this they have some good concealment good uh, terrain cover as well but um yeah even with that that's gonna be tough to fight against I don't know so it was, it was weird there, whether it's the dish gun or the uh, KPVT on the uh, BRDM because that's that same 14.5 millimeters that's on the uh, BTR, yeah. and uh, that'll turn someone to Swiss cheese. Fair yep. Uh, uh, one shot from that 14.5 center mass will knock you unconscious. Uh, if it's the limbs, you'll be able to tank it, but it's a very deadly infantry weapon, and if it can maneuver behind and mow people down, it's going to be a very effective weapon, but I do believe Op4, they do have Serbi... Uh, with the mat gun and he does have an assistant so he's got five rounds to uh you know guess and check to blow guys up and then blue four uh because everyone's gonna be full squatted uh is at least gonna have two at sticks per group of people minus the delta team to take that vehicle out yeah the only one that they really have to worry about would be the brdm because that's Ooh, obviously wait, 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 to cut you off, they're moving the vehicles right on the edge of uh, the MSR that's going to go right into the uh, main group. So we got T5 Bay and someone else uh, in the BRDM, and then Scandi Recon with TSB is also mount. Uh, they, I think they're going to set up a defensive position here. Uh, you know, as I said, they could very well, and when I say they, I mean Op4, uh, set up a few groups to try to block the obvious routes going in, uh, and just be really, really nasty with, uh, Blue4 coming in. People were mentioning CCO7, uh, before this round started, and I made a joke about, yeah, there won't be any spawn camping, but the uh, range of these yeah. AOs, it's, it's within a few hundred meters. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Anything's I'm... possible. So they're dismounting that uh, transport UAZ up there. I was hoping and praying that we would have Looks seen like a up here instead. on the Blue Force spot. Oh, yeah. I follow that MSR going southeast, pass by it. By the then the dirt road. That, yeah. yeah turn, turn off on a dirt road, go through oh. the forest, and just bail out of there. But with that, um, between the BRDM and That's the horrible. drive by, you know, That's LA horrible. Cell, um, shooting from the car uh, we could have seen a few casualties from that but it doesn't seem like that's the plan for them um, yeah that that would have been just dirty uh, but <laughs> no I think that yeah, they're just going to be holding this but I don't know if Red 4 realizes that Blue 4 doesn't have any transport VIX which is a pretty big handicap for them like I said before yeah I don't think Severe has properly put two and two together because he's a veteran of this place. Uh, he just hasn't noticed that um, the batches of mission files that come week to week are usually all put to the same standard. So if there's transport VIX and the earlier mission files say there's transports, usually the ones for NA compared to EU, which are done earlier, are uh, also going to say transport. So yeah. it's either that or he's being nice, which uh, I wish more people did in this game. <laughs> But it looks like Op4 is doing uh, an even defensive strategy. They have the manpower for it. It's 50 v 50 uh, with a slight numerical advantage given to Blue4. But, I mean, they have the manpower to set up defensive lines. They've got manpower to set up some little counterattacks to harass the rear of Blue4's formation. And they're definitely going to need that because of just the sheer amount of players that are on both sides. Yeah, with special uh, with that large player count, we're gonna see. If you want to jump in on Friday night fights, do exclamation point FNF. It's a new command. Uh, exclamation point um, join puts you to uh, TSB because they can have bigger numbers just to throw at. So I'm not switching that out. Um, by which I mean like, uh, there's more, there's more flexibility in their playbook. Uh, with more people, they you know you can have more intense fire coming from a single direction. You can have more. Uh, spread out fire over a longer distance and you normally work mm -hmm. with 80 people or 60 people on the server um so once the fighting actually starts i think we're going to be seeing a lot of um 
yeah, flexibility and oh, yeah. dynamic movement uh, between both of the teams. But um, one minute left to go, and Red Force is already set up in both. Of the They're terminals putting. Yeah, they're uh, they're starting to make some uh, perimeter fortifications with those big Hesco assets. Uh, nothing super fortified. They're just trying to lock down certain angles to give them some better firing positions. I will say though, Terminal Two has a lot more room to make uh, a few nice fortification walls to cover the uh, open fields. Uh, it would force Blue Ford to attack from the south for uh, having the concealment and cover of the forest to go all the way up to the terminal. Uh, but again, I'm going to be really curious to see what Blue Four does. We see a lot of people moving south on Blue Four spawn. They might try a full platoon push, which could work out. I mean, I'm looking at the map here. Uh, they can take the forest all the way down to it and then take the forest and get all the way up to Terminal 1 as well. Uh, and yeah, right off the so bat, BRDM is rushing. Oh boy, and we're, uh, as it's doing that, the uh, UAZ with the disc is pulling up northwest of the play area. I think they're just trying to watch the, like, the long flank, but yeah, that BRDM is rolling hard. It's so real quick to ball. look, the um, the UAZ Dishka has Acid Pantalones, who is the marksman for Op4. Oh, here we go. All right, there, we're, we're going to see the out. rush. Well, uh, so this is actually very fortunate for Blue Ford because they're going to Terminal 2. They're not crossing that MSR and they're not coming into the firing line of the BRDM. They're going to be in the forest to the left, so they're going to hear this engine coming up, but they're going to be perfectly... T the timing is perfect for Blue Ford because they're still in the forest. Corporal Reap would have heard it. He has AT, who is the rightmost far guy. Be uh, T5 Bay going right in front of the entire oh, platoon. Right before the clearing, too. Right before the clearing. And they're locked in first person, and they just crashed into a tree. Thank God Blue Four was not in a position to take advantage of that. But I mean, this is going to give good scouting wow. information for the BRDM. It does have a built-in radio, I, so... I, 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 I would agree with you if it weren't for the fact that they didn't see anyone. That's true. Like, like they, they saw no one crossing the MSR, which means they could be going north, you know, uh, north of Kangas and going that northwest direction, but they saw no one unless the this might, saw someone and didn't shoot. This might throw the BRDM off because if they didn't see anyone, they might think that they're dealing with uh, Blue Four Transport Vix. So now the BRDM is trying to find those Transport Vix. So this is going to be a little bit of misinformation for Op4, and it's going to leave Op4 questioning where Blue Four's assault's going to be. Because if uh, Op4 thinks Blue Four has Vix, um, all of a sudden... Do we just hear a gunshot? The BRDM is stuck. The BRDM is stuck. You're kidding me. It's, it also powers itself between a tree and a fallen tree. Well, no, nope, it's... Stuck. Don't lie to me. <laughs> hey, it, 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 was, it stopped moving and it had to back up, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right, so otherwise, I mean, again, as I was saying, uh, Op4 might think that Blue 4 has a lot more reach than they actually do, so they'll commit more guys on a full 360 perimeter. I also do like what I'm seeing uh, up above Terminal 2 towards the north. We have a very wide uh, fire team formation with four guys, and then there's a fifth one. Uh, but it looks like one of those guys off of that fire team formation is pulling back. Uh, they're just doing a massive uh, security screen, uh, screen trying to see where Blue Four is coming from. But it looks like that's collapsing because maybe they were trying to listen for Blue Four vehicles. But I don't think the BRDM is disdained. It looks like it's going to come back along the MSR. Might try to go north to make another pass. But will Blue Four be ready? No, it heads south. Uh, I guess trying to find those transport VIX again. So I would say yeah, Op4 don't exist. Yeah, Op4 thinks that Blue 4 has transport VIX, which would make sense based off of that weird brief we heard uh, because it was mentioned that Blue 4 should be able to attack from any angle. So logically, they'd get transport VIX, right? But that is not the case. It's kind of funny. So BRDM is going to go on a wild goose chase because of false intel. Uh... I'm trying to see if the marksman for the Dishka car was dropped off. It was not, so it's still in that vehicle with a member of uh, Platoon. And they're going to try to now cover all angles because they have no idea where Blue Four is going to come in. 
This is only going to help Blue 4, though, because they're just going to come in on the uh, most obvious vector, but this leaves Op 4 to deploy more units in weird formations. We have Scandi Recon slash TSB yeah. uh, slowly coming down the MSR. We've got a demo guy, Corporal Firefighter. He is in the multi-twitch, by the way. And First Lieutenant Anderson also fanning out. Op 4 is merely trying to find where Blue 4 is. And because Blue 4 has everyone together here, uh, that's going to make it harder for Op 4 to find them until Blue 4 catches Op 4 where Blue 4 wants them to, uh, which is probably going to be at Terminal 2 at this rate. Yeah, Op4 has some decent defenses built up over to uh, Terminal 2. Um, some a nice Hesco wall on the southeast side, some uh, trenches and stuff on the interior. Um, but they're not really going to... This is very interesting, because I think the BRDM is going to come back up and hold the Terminal 2, which I would think is the right play, because there's more players up at Terminal 1. You want the Force Multiplier down at Terminal 2. Um, but all that means is that when Blue 4 attacks, you know, that Moz is going to be able to, should be able to take that out fairly quickly, and then they lose that, at least in theory. Um, otherwise, yeah, Scandi Recon's coming down from the north, they're combing through the forest, just kind of tightening the grip a bit more and more and more on Blue 4, as, uh, I mean, well, we're only five minutes in, and we've already seen a pretty, at least to me, a surprising amount of movement for both teams. Like, with how spread out they are in the north, especially, and uh, the fact that Scandi Recon is, you know, essentially on a search pattern mm -hmm. going uh, north to south. So based off of what I'm seeing right now, uh, Op4 has 14 dudes defending Terminal 2. Uh, they could probably call in for the BRDM to come in and assist. Maybe the UAZ Dishka will also bring the Marksman and try to reposition it. But if it's a one-to-one -one even trade... Uh, Blue 4 being the massive tactical blob force that it is, committing everything to one AO at a time, will easily uh, steamroll Terminal 2. Uh, and if they keep this up, Op 4 is going to try to pull all of its units back to make one last defensive group. We might see TSB try to do a uh, back flank here, but... I mean, just Blue Four, it's doing a massive line formation. One squad's a little out of position from there, but... Uh, I'm sorry, that's not that's not a line, that's a column. It's a column, my bad. Line is abreast. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> it was perpendicular that. to what I said, but uh, usually yeah. when you see steamrolls, um, just because of the sheer amount of fire that comes down, uh, usually you don't see a one-to-one -one even trade. You usually see the group getting steamrolled just get annihilated. Uh, so, I mean, if Blue Four can get, you know, 14 kills and only lose a few guys, that would put them in a really good position to then steamroll Terminal 1, but it's going to come down to the PvP. I'm going to be honest, watching this Blue Four, like, on-foot convoy, this conga line of Blue Four, it literally stretches, like, 400, 500 meters. It's amazing. It's, act it's actually, like, impressive to see, just how many people and this is only one of the two teams Th this is a fucking platoon size of people like i i i'm, I'm just getting just giddy rolling, here looking at it rolling i know right because it just keeps going and going and going now uh, one one potential fear stuff. here i have though is these guys are still a little blobbed up uh, especially towards the front it only takes one good burst of suppressive fire from a machine gun to nail one of these guys uh, usually with suppression uh, in previous Friday night fights where it's been about, you know, up to like 45 v 45 and then, you know, around the adjustment numbers for that to give one side the player advantage. Uh, usually they'll try to suppress one or two guys, but now that it's getting up to, you know, 50 v 50, uh, especially with all these guys in the same position, I would hate to see these guys charge in, especially at this formation, uh, only to get mowed down by a machine gun. Uh, now... I'm going to be honest, I think Alamo for Op4 would be a really funny scenario to watch happen. I hope it doesn't happen, though, because that would uh, piss off a lot of Blue 4 guys, but <laughs> hot damn. I mean, looking at how Op4 is spread out, like there's only one or two guys covering a sector at a time in a different direction. I see four all doing good 360, all with good little vantage points, but holy crap, against that many guys, it's going to be a mess. Yeah. They're even doing the wide... Uh, flank down to the southern sector so they have the force so they can move all the way up to it but you yeah, know they're I only going to fight um, three dudes and then 
the inner garrison. There's four to Manu. It's it's gonna be a mess, and I can't wait. Yeah, me neither. Um, I think you said well, there were fourteen there, so that's like what a four to one ratio about. Uh, fourteen to fifty ish, give or take, would be yeah, that's a little what, a little over a little three to one over, ratio. Yeah. yeah. Um, so messy, messy to say the least. Um, that actually is like the three to one ratio that you you know supposedly want for an assault, but um, you'll see what Red Force is able to do. Since he did holds in the past, this um, isn't yeah, risk. This is arma. <laughs> and a board game. Well. Hey, statistics, man. That's what make, turns uh, sergeants into generals. But I love Blue how the Force BRDM is on the top left corner, still looking for Blue they Force went, vehicles. They went all the way. Back Literally there. done a full oh, circle shit. here. It's it's crazy. Like they have to be confused right now. They they yeah. It means they didn't see them when they drove right past them the first time, which is weird because I would have had that gun turned at their spawn point, but. Again, I think it's just Op4 overestimated Blue 4 in the sense that they thought Blue 4 had those transports, and that's what's causing the recon uh, war there. Uh, uh, that's definitely part of it. Um, so that that's uh, the fact that Blue 4 doesn't have vehicles is actually working in Blue 4's favor, which is, again, not something I expected. Scandi Recon has now come down south of Kangas, um, and they've searched around Blue 4 spawn, but if... Uh, you know, if they had gone direct west, Scandi Recon would be right on top of them, but mm -hmm. they went far, far south, a full click to the south of Scandi Recon. Um, so they are nowhere to be found, and it's just a wild goose chase still. Uh, Blue Fort, meanwhile, they are at the three-way junction, and they look to... Uh, it looks like they're starting to turn northwest and go through this forest. I think yep. that yeah, going through the southeast vector is probably the, their best bet. Um, Indigo and Martin have a nice uh, Hesco wall on the southeast side of the barns there, but with the terrain, you can see markers like Hill 58, Hill 54, Hill 55, like, they have some decent terrain to work through, you know, uh, work through the dips between all these hills, and get really close to Terminal 2 without revealing their position, which just means that they're the attacking force... It's gonna depend, Sai, how quickly Blue 4 than, can, uh, uh stomp off for his position here. Now, I, will, I do want to point out, BRDM is starting to come along the MSR again. Uh, it's probably not going to find the Blue 4 group, but it's going to be close to bring people. What also might happen is people might mount up in the BRDM and they might abandon this position once they realize they're fighting a full platoon, which would give them a little bit more of a defensive advantage at Terminal 1. But it is a little worrisome to look at this. Yeah, that'd be um, an interesting call to pull people out of Terminal 2 and let it go um, in such a withering attack. I don't know. So I have someone in my chat Sai, saying that this is going to hinge on Blue 4 doing uh, a good surprise attack. I would say definitely for Terminal 2, if Blue 4 can get right on top of Op 4, close the gap, and... Uh, gun them down definitely but i have seen a few people go in some interesting hidey hole positions uh on barns and whatnot you generally oh don't want to get like that oh, what um the brdm just flipped itself and then rolled over and unflipped itself and amazing I, I exclaimed out loud um, <laughs> since i have already cut you off i would like to say uh if you look at the map and see where the brdm is heading if it continues on this uh, side road that it's going on now and turns east and does another loop on the MSR, the timing should be just right again for Blue 4 to be completely concealed in the forest off of any road on the map. And it's the possible. BR BRDM will just roll right past. I think that's, that might be what happens again just because of the timing. They've already almost crossed it. And uh, yeah, that BRDM is... is got a decent speed whether it goes like 60 70 kph yeah here's what i see going on uh first firefight's gonna happen at terminal 2 unless the brdm somehow goes off one of these ssrs and spots the large blue four group um scandy recon and tsb they're gonna reinforce uh because they're in position to they're gonna get gunned down too because of the might of the blue four group and it's gonna be a matter of how many blue four guys are still alive to deal with terminal one uh, usually defenders have the advantage in an even fight, but, uh, this might get changed though. If that BRDM, it's going a little slower, it might turn a right and go on these SSRs. It could potentially spot somebody. 
but if Blue Force steamrolls the first terminal too, I think Blue Force is going to win. But if Op4 is able to stall it out, at the very least for time, because Blue Force is not going to have any time to reposition, and the vehicles at terminal two are limited. I only saw one UAZ. There is a Euro though. Okay, uh, yeah, so that could be used to uh, funnel some UAZs. dudes. Yeah. Right, but... There, there, there's plenty of transport. Yeah, so uh, there's only one Ural down here, though. Maybe oh one God. UAZ, too, so that wouldn't be enough to move all of Blue oh, Four. But if Blue Four takes that, God. they could easily steamroll everything. And yet we're seeing the BRDM now going through <laughs> these forests again, close to the platoon, not as close as what they were originally. But if it follows this road to the end of it... It's going to be right in the I door. doubt they're going to go all the way up to the dead end. I, I haven't seen them do that in their routes yet, but, I mean, today might be the day. Yeah, they, they've been sticking to the road pretty religiously. Um, either they're going to... Oh, nope, As you say that, they go off-road, and they aren't going to spot Blue for. Stream's <laughs> Curse. Caster's Curse, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh my gosh, uh, they're stream-sniping Barbarian. No, no. Barb, you should stop streaming to give up for the, the don't give up for the advantage. No, no, Let me be I the one the true streamer. <laughs> oh, and now it's turning northeast, so it's just all over the place. Well, it's just going to follow the MSR again. It's going to completely yeah. miss Blue Four. I do okay. like the tactic that they've been doing. Yeah, so what I'm willing to bet here is Blue Four, they're splitting into two groups. One group, since they know they have the numbers advantage, is going to go after Terminal 2. The other group is going to start sneaking over and do a wide western push and then north and then hit Terminal 1 from the western flank because all the people that are guarding the western flank on Op 4 for Terminal 1 are going to get pulled to watch uh, southeast. Uh, expecting Blue Four to keep pushing up that direct route, so that's oh. going to give Blue Four a nice advantage on that flank uh, to push in. Uh, it just banks on the fact that Blue Four uh, has to win this fight, and the BRDM is gonna BRDM do a is circle. Going to West. Yep. Now the time he might be just right for them uh, for Red Four now for the BRDM, and mm -hmm. you also have to realize the the, the constant X factor that we've seen the past few uh, Friday night fights, Scandi Recon. They're right in between the two terminals, so they be the um, well, quickest QRF for Red Four. Uh, once hold on, this, hold on. Uh, shh, shh, shh. Yeah, listen for the spear DM. We're gonna go down with the players. Lirio ASMR. The group that's to the north. They barely heard the BRDM. I don't think they warned the. No, the BR. What? No, the BRDM. Wow. No, this is rolling along. I thought it was going to circle that area and catch uh, that one squad that was on the oh, road out of position, but Ooh, instead yeah, they pulled it. right up to Op4. Oh, this BRDM is such a cock tease right now. I thought, I, know, right? I literally thought he was going to circle it, but no, he uh, he decides to instead cut to Terminal 2 and that's going to get Blue 4 get even closer. BRDM meanwhile has now stopped. Gun is pointing south now. I think they're just trying to, to work out, at least the driver is, you know, where to go where next. Where Blue 4 has else. been. Because they have had no eyes, no, not even yeah, a so this glimpse group's gonna of contact from Blue 4. Come they around, hit from that side. 300 meters of uh, Terminal 2. Mm -hmm. I do like Blue Four's plan here, though. I think in the circumstance they were given, this is definitely one of the better ones they could have done. And they're going to try mm -hmm. to rely on Severe to overcommit his forces uh to be the advantage it's just blue four is going for the objectives and here op four is going for the defense there's a, there's a team of red four that's now pushed west out of terminal two by a few yeah because they have no idea where blue four is so they're literally just oh trying to God. find the contact here brdm meanwhile has cut through uh t5 bay coming up to t4 herb like hey how you doing what's up <laughs> And T4 was just like looking at like what the fuck? Yeah, why is there what's a BRDM this, what, off the what's road? What's doing here? Now, and Blue Force actually stopped their advance. They're checking everything. They actually have a three-way spot. I didn't realize they had a larger force to the southwest. Yeah, um, so that's the so force that's going to outmaneuver and uh, start going to Terminal 1. Meanwhile, the other half has split up into their two squads, and they are holding probably to let the Blue Force group uh, get a little more distance. However, we are seeing Serbi and Jedi, that's the D4 Matt team with the RHS Maz uh, trying to go into an open area could potentially catch the BRDM out of position since it is in this area here. So maybe Blue 4 heard the BRDM uh, and they're trying to send their Matt team around to potentially deal with it. 
But otherwise, I'm waiting to see when Blue 4 begins this attack because Blue 4 has lost a lot of time here maneuvering. Uh, and they're going to probably cut it down to the wire at Terminal 1. At least with the Terminal 2 attack, if Blue 4 wins that fight, they're going to be able to take the terminals. But it is important to note that, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's only 9 people now defending Terminal 2 as 5 people push south. Was that a gunshot? I already am. Um, thought I heard a click. It might be fireworks by you, because I didn't hear anything. Okay, well, I'll, there's no fireworks at my place. I got one ear out of my headset, but... No, well, then I don't know. So, interestingly enough, the group that broke off that's now with the BRDM might be able to ambush the large blue four group coming around. Uh, I'm going to look at Montgomery's... Oh, Montgomery, he's running back, sprinting. He might have seen some movement down there. Uh, he's going to run up to Misu, maybe. No? No, seems like uh, I'm looking at his first person perspective. Yep. And I mean, they're they're moving. No, nope, he's looking, looking down that MSR instead. He, he doesn't see him. If he I looks right, he could literally see them right I now. See them. Yeah. That is that is camouflage. They're just so, uh, they still stick out a little bit. His really his monitor's too wide. He's not looking down a scope. He should be. Ooh. He would have been able to see them, but he was too fixated on that uh, MSR. But the Delta team might cross his vision. Wow. Oh, yeah. They're going a bit more direct. So that would... S it wouldn't actually be a total loss if the Delta team got killed because there's AT in every squad here. But Montgomery, he is probably... Nope, there's shot. some shots, yep. He turns right. Now he might start seeing some of this group out. Yep, he's going to see movement and he's lining up his gun sight. Yep. Oh, yeah, he sees that movement. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, and some of them are crossing the open field. Oh, this is devastating for Blue Four. And there's the machine gun fire while people are caught out in the open. Oh, you should have waited. A hail of bullets coming out, though, and immediately drops him. Please tell me I've traced off for that, because that is a laser show, my man. Those gunshots have uh, alerted uh, the other flank of Blue Four to push him, but some stray fire from one Blue Four guy going into the other Blue Four flank. Both of those Op4 guys got annihilated. And the BRDM is waiting with bated breath, trying to find some angles to get some snipes. Uh, if it pushed up a little more, it could get some really nasty shots on Blue4. Uh, Blue4 has had one death, two deaths, actually. You, I'm sorry, do you see what the BRDM is doing? What? It's, it's trying to camouflage itself. Yeah, 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 no. It's doing the War Thunder technique. It, and it's got uh, an angle, and it drops a guy. Oh, oh. Uh, yep, so, and the rest of the force is pushing down at the same angle. It's going to expose itself to the BRDM. And now the other attack wave has come in, and it is now coming in on Terminal 2. Scandi Recon is coming down to reinforce. There's a three-man squad uh, by Acid Pantalones. He's the marksman that are going to probably do a hard flank on the left. AT just flew out on the right flank, knocking Tom Cruise out. And now Op4 needs to pull out some prit. Sorry, go ahead. Arcor is actually on the western side of that uh, Blue Four push into Terminal One. He, like, yep. he's making, making a move, uh, pushing over to Tom Cruise. He's got a PKP. Is, no, sorry, that's an AK-74. I thought he had a PKP for some reason. Nah. He's getting shots out now. And I just saw some Op Four guys shoot at each oh, other too. Arcor just got a triple kill on uh, Tom Cruise, Austin, and a third uh, Blue Four player. Uh, so he's doing a great job of stifling this push onto the objective. Um, just Ooh. Out of luck. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. Um, Arcor did it. Yep, yep. Arcor is at four kills right you now. Four. You got four, yeah. Oh yeah, you got another person with that other uh, silo, and there's another person dead on top. And there's another. Yep. Yeah, he might be at five. This is meat grinder for uh, blue four year, for, uh, which is yep. very. Arcor's at five, uh, about to be at six. Drops uh, Amadello over there. Amodio. This is just Ken Liru English simulator, I swear. But BRDM pulled back. Well, I know what's that's gonna say stuff in my chat, but anyway, Blue Four is now pushing up that left flank. A uh, little bit of QRF is jumping in, but we do have um, a TSB three-man team pulling back. Meanwhile, Arcor still firing at this group. I'm watching his kill count, still at six. He is now getting shot at by Le Five and forced to pull back. Uh, I would love to see him pull over to the right and now flank them from the rear. 
Uh, but getting six kills, that's definitely what the Op4 guys want for their KD, and they could repel this entire attack. Wow, Arbor is now shooting at the other blue four push on the western side. Certainly yeah, getting their attention. Line of fire. He's got a decent line of fire, and with some of these rocks right here, he has uh, half decent cover. He needs to focus on the closer threat, though, uh, because that is more close to his jurisdiction. He can just do a wide flank around. He's got to be careful because Dingo uh, has two guys, Bassbeard, another good player, and G-Legs. Don't recognize his name, but uh, they could potentially stop any back caps. Ooh, um, and the BODM is now firing again on uh, Charlie and Delta for Blue Four. Yeah, I mean, Blue 4 did not want this to play out this way. They're losing way too many guys in this one firefight. Uh, the three-man reserve team is now pulling to the right. That's going to leave Arcor the ability to come behind Stray Dog here and get an easy headshot. And there it is. Arcor now at seven kills, technically eight when Amo uh, Amodio dies. So, really good start for Arcor there. If he stays behind them, he could do really well, but he might still run into that three-man reserve group. But all those three guys, they're looking in the same angle. Arcor might be able to catch him out of position. We actually have people for the West and the uh, yeah, and Patrick had a little bit. Indigo got a kill. Arcor just took some shots from a friendly. I think that was just stray fire, actually. But, yeah, I mean, Op4 doing a very good job stopping this steamroll here. Yeah, uh, I think Blue 4, out, really. Blue 4 wanted to wait till um, where the Blue 4 guys on that western flank are now to begin the assault, so they have a much better pincer, but they ran into some dudes and unfortunately Ooh. ran into it. So Arthur's back here. And yep, uh, yep, he's uh, by he's three dudes. Out, he, uh, yeah, as he's spreading out, trying to go north, he actually... He's going to find Dingo's team. legs. And, yep, he's going to find Dingo's and legs. He's gonna have Dingo's legs and Dingo's legs. legs. Oh, this is this is gonna be brutal. Oh, it's Dink. This is this is staff member to oh. staff member, oh. and oh, he just uh, mag yes. dumps him in the that's back. Right up, yes. Oh. He's still alive though, so he could win. Yep. Up, but he's oh, I doubt from that sure. much ammo. No, no way. Now I want to see if Arcor possibly takes Dingo's gun. Hey. There's the double tap. Now his legs uh, legs is turned around. He's suspicious, no. but doesn't look no, like it. He did, he did not recognize those shots behind him as four. He's, uh, Arcor does steal the AT4, so I think they're still... Yep, Arcor the now at eight have... kills officially, still has a ninth. Legs catching him out of position, missing his shots, though. Arcor, oh, he gets dropped by Legs. A lot of bullets just went into him. Unlikely to wake up from that, but anything's possible. Did get a few so shots on G-Legs, legs, just couldn't yeah. connect that headshot. I mean, Legs had a frickin' 249, so I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah. Arcor still, still wake back up though. Legs not going up for the double dap. Bassbeard camping in the woods here. Uh, confused, but I mean, Arcor with those nine kills, because I doubt uh, Amodio is going to wake back up. That's what Op4 wanted to do. Uh, and Op4, I mean, the numbers are looking more and more even every time I look back here. And even if Blue4 uh catches this back we see op four like they're setting up new defensive lines they're trying to bait blue four to come in and it's 42 minutes down so even if blue four takes this terminal the time it's gonna take for them to get up to the next position unless they steal this ural over here it's gonna be costly and i i don't see how blue four is gonna really recover from this unless we see some major pvp happen right here yeah, we have some, uh, about a dozen or so blue four over here by the barns on the southeast side of Terminal 2 as that western flank is starting to push in. But we have, uh, the TSB group, Scandi Recon, whatever you want to call them, pushing in from their north side, so... They've been a... forming a defensive line right there. I don't think they're gonna move in. They're gonna probably wait for the firefight to die down. Meanwhile, Orcor's oh, still down. Uh, Ooh. Patriot's pushed up. Patriot, I believe, is the marksman? Yes, so he's pushing up as the... Lone Wolf Marksman wants to do. Uh, actually getting on a roof. Russ now. getting he some high ground here speed. to He's fire some GLs the, in this position. The garrison in Terminal 2 doesn't first. And Blue 4 is pulling back, and Arcor has died. Rip. Yeah, they're probably pulling back because they don't. I guess they don't know what, what to do. They don't want to I don't think they like there. those positions because it's a big open area against a strong position. Probably thinking Op4 is going to keyhole them when they try to advance. 
Uh, so really rare that you see something like this, but it's a good call in my opinion. What they need to do is basically do a U-turn, uh, go past the silos on the west and come right up to the forested area uh, as the other blue four group overwatches them. Yep, so they're already coming around. It's a good call. It's a good call. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, and we're actually seeing a bit of a flank coming in from the uh, from Nemesis and Iceberg. They're going around way far on the Ooh, west side. RPG short. Trying to catch out on the back end of uh, the Western Blue Fort group as Asicantalones, Lurch, and Nido come up in the south. So this is a three pronged pincer attack to counterattack this human wave that Blue Fort has been trying to do for the past 30 minutes or There's so. There's a fresh skull right there. So I'm counting the skulls here. There are seven op four skulls and one, two, three, four, five, six, Sorry, seven, the eight. Was also pulled up to, to the north side of the um of the blue four group and now it's opening fire so that's four different directions that blue four is taking fire but sorry. By the way, twenty two blue four skulls, seven op four skulls. Oof, so that, yeah, Blue Four has lost a large amount of manpower. This BRDM, as you did, uh, excuse me, BRDM, as you said, uh, pulled around, uh, yeah, might have just shot someone in the back. Between wow. The and the BRDM, yeah. Sixteen kills. That's yeah. That that shows why there's so many skulls on the other side. Op Four just got an eighth skull, uh, probably from the garrison. I am seeing uh, lesser and lesser numbers. TSB uh, slash Scan Recon now contending. With uh, the blue four group that came up, Ooh, uh, Zito's got domed. Ooh, damn! Yeah, he was kind of out of position right there, so it makes sense. Ooh, and Finn kills Frost. Not to be confused with Frost 993 in TSP, but still, it's cool. maybe it's old Frost. Who knows? But, I mean, um, look at look at where Whale is. He's got a mass, a uh, little not a mass cas. He's got a man down. He's got another dead guy right there. You, you know his definition. Also, um, we have the Matt team guy. Uh, he's not the Matt team guy, though. Matt team is dead. Uh, T. Gorgonzola, whatever you want to call his name, he's the guy with the uh, AT out, and he's trying to use it as a shock infantry weapon. Uh, no, no, the BRDM's pulled behind Scandi Recon here, and I'm only seeing Outcast and Finn. I thought there was one more. Iceberg was over there. I think Iceberg died. Let me see. No, Iceberg is still with Nemesis doing this wide flank. So they're going to try to catch more blue four guys out of position. And we got three more uh, guys. Acid, Pantalotes, Lurch, and Mito. Acid is the marksman for Op4. And look at this. Alpha for Op4 is also pulling around. A massive recommitment of forces here. They could run into Ooh. these two blue four guys. Bassbeard and Legs to slow them down. Legs does have a machine gun. And Bassbeard does have AT to be shocked though. But I think they're gonna run into each other instead uh this is just becoming the fight yeah, yeah. for this position this ditch where Mannerheim is now on the north side of it they're gonna run into him they just uh, keep going along this ditch that they are keep poking their head up looking west into the forest oh this might get them killed even quicker uh from their uh right flank Nemesis just tried to drop Anderson, missed his shots, and then Anderson turned around and just dropped Ooh. Nemesis. He's still alive, though. Warwick and Mannerheim opening up on Bassbeard and Legs. GP's, uh, oh, yep, in. completely caught out of the open on that right flank. I'm wondering to see if someone like Dreek will come down and confirm the kills, but it doesn't look like it. That's okay. I mean, if they're pinned in that little uh, riverbed right here, for lack of a better term... Uh, Op4 can just maneuver guys around to take care of them, but Blue4 uh, finalizing their little U-horn here. Uh, starting to get that main force in, throwing grenades. One lands perfectly at Nielsen, not knocking him down, but definitely doing a significant amount of damage. Bastion and Legs are fighting for their lives. Uh, Bastion is getting shot up from three different people. Uh, both of them still alive, surprisingly, but now they're getting thrown from the west side. They try and collapse it, and uh, that's going to be a very quick game for them. I think Blue 4 is going to probably be able to get to, uh, control terminal 2, but the sheer amount of Op 4 QRF is going to stomp this out. Uh, and then the left flank has been reduced so much that the BRDM is going to be able to keep knocking them out. Uh, and we got people now coming up on their rear. Blue 4 doesn't really have any unified battle lines here. They're going to get ambushed on their six. And uh, it's just going to be... It, it's just going to be a massive amount of divide and conquer here. Really, the, the group with the biggest amount of chance is the one by the terminal, but they still have dudes to contend with, and the BRDM is now repositioning to deal with them. Mannerheim, meanwhile, going down by legs is 249. Ouch. Ooh, and, yeah, he pushed up on his own by himself. Uh, Not the smartest thing to do. No, legs and Basper, they're trying to 
Oh, you're talking about Mannerheim, yeah. Yeah. Iceberg pushing up, uh, spraying down Gorgonzola here. He had the mat gun, so that's gonna take away a big opportunity for Blue 4 to be able to kill the BRDM. Uh, cause AT with a amount of people dead, this is gonna be pretty limited. I do see Chavez in the main group with a stolen RPG. Reap also has his 2-4, um, AT4, and they both have a decent angle on the BRDM, but smoke grenades are blocking their view. at the BRDM. Yeah, Norris also has an M203, but he's shooting at the BRDM with his rifle trying to pop the tires. I don't- I think he doesn't know that the 40mm can actually damage that BRDM. Mm-hmm. Not by much, though. Yeah, better than nothing. Better than 5.56. Iceberg now pulling back. It's- it's even right now. Actually, uh, Op4 has four guys up and running. Blue4 only has three guys up and running. That whole left flank has fallen apart. Platoon HQ and Patriot. Uh, have pushed up kind of in between the two groups and now the remainder of this blue four group is trying to push up A grenade gets thrown right into Marco's uh, Nelson building ouch You might throw a second one as Graf comes around as Nelson looks away By the way Warwick also down Mannerheim uh, Not waking back up legs is just camping with his 249 cosmonaut trying to do a wide right flank probably gonna catch legs out of position here oh, yeah. And he gunned legs down. All right, so that's the far right flank taken care of. I don't see Bassbeard waking back up. No, he got lit up way too much when he was down. And blue for sweeping most of his position. Cholin's trying to bandage Night Owl. Nelson uh, still in position here, uh, but blue four needs to start initiating the hack. But ay ay ay, I mean it's it's messy. Yeah, that's... Nice. Pantalone's knocking out Special K. And other guys trying to medic up their mask as Brian crawls over behind a rock, gets shot in the leg. A little bit of desync on his end. And now it's just up to uh, Killinger, who hasn't noticed... Nope, he just did. Turned around to wonder what those gunshots were. And Op4 has successfully nullified the left flank here. We could see Killinger. Uh, he just did drop Lurch right here. But it is now 1v3. God bless, like that, that, that was very surprising because Blue Bar has a very big number advantage, but between the BRDM and lots of maneuvering from Red 4, they just got enveloped and taken apart slowly. Blue 4 trying to initiate the hack, they just couldn't find the right asset to do it. Looks like Bash just found it though, sorry, continue. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's it, that's all she wrote for that left flank. Dr. Killinger just gets taken out by the BRDM. <laughs> I watched that happen, oh. And he, that's that's them completely uh, just eviscerate. You know, if I was up for, I would let them finish the hack because it's gonna spawn a GPU and explode. But if they keep them stuck in the building, it's gonna blow themselves up. Yeah, so they need to, to tighten this loose around them. That's exactly what they're doing. They BRDM has 12 kills, by the way, but AT comes in, knocking it out. But T5 Bay manages to survive. Comes out. Starts trying to machine gun Alec here, gets the kill up to 13. Yeah, T5A comes out swinging, gets it. Very, a little sloppy, but it got the kill. And that's all that Dooley also got out relatively unscathed. T5A charging in. Got another one, but um, Ross is still up. I can't click his name. Ah! And then Firefighter comes in, gets another kill. T5A wakes back up. More in the obvious ace uh, unconscious animation. I'm wondering if Bay will get the double tap. Yep, there it is. Fire, firefighter gets Lang, and who's left? Now it's blue on blue. They're totally fine. The last one left is Patriot. Marco is unconscious. No one's going to be able to stop the hack, though. Nope, Bay is coming in. Pauses it. it. Nice. T5Bay comes in and they don't, they don't even know T5Bay at, T5 uh, at 15 kills, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lurch is shooting off at something to the north, but Patriot. Uh, I think he was double tapping place. bodies or firing at Patriot, but then Patriot returns the so favor and half. drops oh, Lurch bless. one shot to the chest. Wes, that was a great shot from Patriot and that's... Patriot just gave another shot on Iceberg. The bolt almost penetrated and hit Mito too. That would have been a nice little two for one special there. Oh, and Finn gets the the counter snipe on Patriot with just that. Finn is thing. really good at sniping marksmen. Now you have Acid Panelodes killing Iceberg. 
Wait, seriously? And he yes. also shot at Finn. Oh my god. Amazing. I he was like, I need to help Blue 4. Blue 4 is doing way too poorly here. But uh, yeah, I mean, poor Iceberg. Well, and, and the marksman too. So the marksman missed PID. I don't know how days. you miss PID that, but screw it. Wait, Shoot no. the friendlies. I guess. I guess. Shoot but the that's friendlies. It. Literally the last one up is Marco. Anderson might come around and spot him, but uh, somebody needs to find him and... Wait, Marco actually... What? Marco's uh, down. Yeah, he's, he's just going to bleed out. Like ragdoll, I think. Here, I'm going to shout at Anderson. Anderson! Anderson! He's over here! Oh, he died. Oh, wow. Okay. See, I told Anderson where he was, and he just insta died. Anderson is the guy that runs FNF officially, so... He even stole an enemy rifle, because 762 is better than 556. Wow. Or the uh, 7 by, uh, 762 by 39 that Op4 has, but there you go. Oh, GG. Go Let's go back uh, upstairs. Yeah, that was a upstairs. slaughter. That was an honest-to-God slaughter. Seriously. I can't tab out. Why? Arma, you betrayed me. I could have did all the work. Screw all I gotta say, though. We had a good chat. Yeah, Red for Delta Team did such a good job defending. They didn't even have to fire <gasps> a shot. Up the enemy yep. just went the other way. Oh, God. I just dug in all game. <laughs> oh, my God. A three-way. <laughs> what? All right. Break, 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 break. The fuck Can is I this? Get community leaders to post their numbers. Send in GOAT Team 6. Now. Yeah.